There was a hummingbird just outside the glass that separated us from the ray. He looked in for just a moment and then flew away. I couldn't help thinking how simple his life must be. He sat quietly in the warm, swirling bubbles. I don't think I could have loved her more than at that very moment. There was this little bead of water that was making its way down her long, silky, wet hair. And I said to myself, if I can count to ten before it drops, she'll love me forever. I barely got to seven before it fell like a rock and ran slowly down over her bare shoulders and disappeared into the bubbles again. Two out of three. I must have been looking at her for a long time before I realized she was looking back. And that day in the rain was a million memories ago. The cafe was getting noisier and the coffee was getting colder. And finally, she began to explain why it was over. I couldn't believe it was actually happening. I was watching her talk, but I couldn't hear the words. I was dying inside. And she never looked more beautiful. Even after she was gone, I could still smell her perfume. I always would. Another time, another place. Was it love and not a waste? I didn't know then it wasn't to be. You should have gone. I got up to leave and stepped out into the rain. Stuck my hand in my coat pocket and pulled out the rose I'd meant to give her. The wilted petals fell to the ground. I counted them out. Still trying to beat the odds. She loves me. She loves me not. Two out of three.